Greece and Turkey are stony. No, that doesn't really say it. Um, Greece and Turkey are very stony. Yes, that's more like it. Um, and if you take a look at the ground in this grove where I'm sitting now, which is fabulously beautiful, you'll notice that you couldn't plough it. You couldn't really grow cereal crops here, like wheat, very easily. Your plough would hit a stone every couple of feet, and the amount of work uh, involved would be quite backbreaking. Whereas growing olives is comparatively easy, and olives are very nutritious, and they have a high calorific value, uh, largely because they're so oily. And uh, that oil uh, isn't just good for food, but you can use it for other things as well. For instance, you can light your home with it. It also keeps for a very long time, which is good for exporting and storage. So, yes, growing olives has lots of advantages. There is a big problem, though, if you are a city-state in the ancient world relying on olives. You see, they take a very long time to establish. One or two years is not enough for a tree to be producing useful amounts of olives. So you have to wait quite a while before you get a return. And here's the big catch. They make you very vulnerable as a state. So if, for instance, you're an Athenian olive farmer and uh, the Athenian war effort says, oh, do you know what? We're not going to defend the uh, countryside against these Spartans. Instead, we're just going to come back inside the, the walls. The Spartans uh, won't try to attack us there. We'll be safe. Ah, but the Spartans can ravage the countryside. And whereas uh, a load of invading soldiers could damage a wheat crop a bit and possibly you won't have quite so much food that year, if they chop down all your olive groves, they've done a massive amount of damage from which you will not recover quickly. So, in some ways, olives are efficient, but they do make you rather vulnerable. Now about that horse mentioned in the title of this video. Whilst taking photographs and making videos in this rather beautiful olive grove, I saw at a distance a horse, and it saw me, and I made my way over to it, taking more photographs as I went, and um, I must have spent a good 20 minutes right next to this horse, taking loads and loads of footage of it grazing, and taking more photographs of it and of the olive grove around me, and at no point did it show any sign of being at all bothered by my presence. It seemed perfectly content and gentle. So you can sympathise, perhaps, dear viewer, with my sense of injustice when, without any warning whatsoever, it turned from side on to me, presented its backside to me, and kicked. Now, a gentle kick is not in the vocabulary of kicks belonging to a horse. It hit me very hard. But, amazingly enough, it did no harm whatsoever and just bounced harmlessly off my stupendously muscular calves. Had it hit me one inch to the right, however, it would have got me in the comparatively shatterable front of my shin, and this would have been a, a very different video, and indeed a, a, the whole trip would have been quite different in nature. Still, um, I got some very nice shots of a horse grazing, and I got an anecdote out of it, so I can't complain. Okay, well, that'll be a no then. <laughs> 